Hey what's up guys, back again at Allo Recaps. Today we will recap a story from a 2020 movie, A Beautiful Curse. The movie begins with a picture of a silent and deserted city, without any sign of life throughout the day. Morning, noon, evening and night, the various sides of the city are always filled with police lines for no known reason. However, a journalist named Samuel was assigned to come to the city to find out what was really going on. There, Samuel immediately photographed the various oddities that occurred, where every service access was completely dead, and there was a warning sound related to the strange phenomenon of congregational sleep. In short, Samuel came to the city only capitalizing on an information, where people who sleep in congregation will usually feel very thirsty first. It can be seen from the residents who appear to be fast asleep anywhere, without being able to be awakened at all. While checking the situation, Samuel saw a special card attached to each person who fell asleep. The label reads the date of sleeping, and the identity of each person. But strangely, there is a group that is not affected by the plague. And the group in question is the animals. Because at that time, Samuel saw a woman who was fast asleep, while holding a plastic containing a live fish. Without thinking, Samuel immediately took the fish from the woman's hand. The fish was to keep him company as a chatting buddy in the midst of everyone being asleep. After that, Samuel also intended to rest by going to anyone's house. Because at that time, he was free to enter anyone's house without anyone forbidding him. And coincidentally, he decided to enter the house of a woman named Stella, who had been sleeping for almost five months after Samuel checked her card. Therefore, Samuel thought that he would be free to do anything in Stella's house. Finally, he decided to spend the night there. The next day, Samuel took a walk outside the house and saw some people sleeping anywhere. Like sleeping on a tree. Even when he entered the church, it appeared that all the worshippers were also sleeping. At that moment, Samuel immediately photographed the situation. He thought it would be the most unique photo he had ever taken. After taking some sample photos, Samuel prayed alone while closing his eyes, and felt how quiet the city was. After praying, Samuel went back to combing various places. He checked room after room, to take as many photos as possible. Even because he was so curious, Samuel went to the area with a swimming pool. Out of curiosity, Samuel tried to check the pulse of a boy who was sleeping on an inflatable boat. Samuel's days were really quiet. Samuel can freely do whatever he wants. But he feels lonely, and feels empty because there is no one to talk to. Until one night, Samuel was suddenly surprised when he saw a car coming. The car turned out to be a medical officer. Suddenly, Samuel immediately rushed to hide at that moment. The next day, Samuel went back to explore some places, and accidentally saw a parked car containing a hot air balloon. Samuel concluded that the medics were still monitoring this strange phenomenon, which he didn't know what their purpose was. But clearly, by this time Samuel couldn't bear to stay longer in this city because he was so lonely. Therefore, he decided to leave the city. Unfortunately, the water in the sea receded drastically, so Samuel couldn't go out on his boat. Therefore, like it or not, Samuel was forced to survive in the city. He started shopping for food supplies at the supermarket for his daily needs. But not long after, suddenly the medical officer came to the supermarket, so Samuel who saw them rushed to hide. Then Samuel decided to pretend to be asleep. Not long after, after the medic left, Samuel resumed his shopping with excitement, as if he was free to shop for anything. But because he didn't want to take advantage of this situation, Samuel remained honest and put his money on the cashier's desk. Even though he could have just not paid for his purchases and left. Once he arrived at Stella's house, he was suddenly surprised by the arrival of the two medical officers who came to Stella's house. Suddenly, as usual Samuel immediately rushed to hide in a cupboard. Meanwhile, when the two medical officers entered Stella's house, they suspected an intruder who entered while checking the surroundings in the house. Up to this point, it is not yet known why Samuel always avoided the medical staff. Just like the previous days, the two medics again checked Stella's condition. Who knows why they routinely do this. Not long after the two medics left, Samuel immediately came out of hiding, and realized that Stella had just been checked by the two medics for no reason he knew. After that, Samuel deliberately took the car belonging to the last person in front of the house, then went to the outskirts of the city to check the condition of the seawater. Arriving there, Samuel's face looked resigned and confused about what to do after seeing the seawater still receding. 
Samuel thought hard about how he could return home. Long story short, 27 days passed and Samuel still felt lonely and empty. He has to do everything by himself. But besides that, fortunately he still has a pet fish, which he can at least chat with. Even while eating dinner, Samuel imagines that he is eating with someone in his hallucinations. On the 43rd day, Samuel still sees Stella who is still asleep until now. Even though Samuel really hopes that Stella will wake up soon, so that she can see the changes he has made in her house, and also cure himself of loneliness. The presence of other people in our lives is essential. Because loneliness is a natural feeling that no one can avoid. We will all eventually feel a need to communicate with someone, and Samuel is feeling it very strongly right now. At that time, Samuel, who had run out of supplies, immediately went out and tried to find water that could be drunk. He even scavenged bottles of drinks in several places. Because at that time, a drop of water became very valuable to him in the midst of dry weather. To the point, the tap water did not turn on at all. Even Samuel was forced to drink plant water because he was so thirsty. After that, Samuel returned home and accompanied Stella who was sleeping. Even at that time, he had decided to stay here until God knows when. Because he himself had resigned himself to the circumstances that happened to him. Two months passed, Samuel seemed to think of writing a letter that he would give to Stella, if at any time he experienced the same thing as Stella. A few days later, Stella suddenly woke up from her long sleep. And when she woke up, Stella only felt that she had slept for eight hours like a normal person. When in fact, she herself had slept for months. Even when Stella woke up, the water that was previously dry felt by Samuel, now no longer felt by Stella. After she woke up, Stella was suddenly surprised to see a strange man sleeping in her house. Immediately Stella became confused about what Samuel had done while living in her house. She was also made to wonder why a stranger like Samuel could sleep in her house. When she saw some changes that occurred in her house, Stella was finally convinced that Samuel had intentionally decorated it just because he felt lonely. She found out after she read the letter, and listened to the recording that Samuel made before he fell asleep. Long story short, eight months passed. It seems that Samuel has now woken up from his sleep, and also seen some residents who have begun to wake up from their long sleep. From here, finally Stella and Samuel got acquainted for the first time. In short, when Stella was still asleep a few months ago, Stella also felt lonely, before Samuel came to the city to find out what really happened. Until finally, the situation turned around. Where not long after Stella woke up from her long sleep, Samuel finally fell asleep too for eight months even though he was now awake. Need to know, while Stella was still asleep at that time, Samuel always hallucinated as if he met and chatted with Stella. But it was all just his imagination. Apparently, this was also felt by Stella who also turned hallucinating, while waiting for Samuel to wake up from his long sleep. And at the end of the movie, it turns out that the medics have anticipated the outbreak with the medicine they have. They deliberately made Stella the first person to be given the drug, to see the development of the side effects of the drug. Therefore, it is no wonder why the medics are always pacing back and forth to Stella's house, to check on her condition and development. And the movie ended. So what do you think about this movie? If you like it please click like and leave a comment for this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video from Allo Recaps. See you next video.